from the heart of the 2012 Sundance Film Festival. Welcome to Festival Insider, presented by Acura. Hi, I'm Aaron Halim here at Sundance Channel HQ in Park City. The Sundance Film Festival has always had its finger on the pulse of what's happening in the world. Now this year, more than ever, filmmakers are telling stories that reflect the fascinating and troubling state of America today. These 10 days at Sundance will set the stage for cultural conversations that will last throughout the year. And two key people behind the selection of these films are with us in studio today. John Cooper is the director of the Sundance Film Festival and Trevor Groth is the director of festival programming. Let's talk about uh, the festival as it approaches its 30th birthday. How's it evolved from its early days to where we are today? It's evolved in many ways by its look and feel and what, what happens here on, on the mountain, but at the same time at the core, it's kind of the same to us. It's um, providing the best platform we can for independent filmmakers. Some of them move on quickly and go into like a different a different level, but we're seeing more and more filmmakers deciding to stay in this independent film. It's realm. especially one of those that actually was had a film here last year, this, the Sean Durkin, who made Martha, Marcy, May, Marlene. Mm -hmm. He's part of a, a collective of filmmakers uh, called Borderline. I don't think, they, they don't let they have their sights on making, you know, huge studio films. They want to keep making these really interesting, challenging, provocative films, including there's one this year made by another one in that group called Simon Killer by Antonio Campos. It's exquisitely crafted and I think those guys are the future right now of independent filmmaking. Uh, talk a little bit about the slogan, look again for this year. What does that refer to specifically? There it is. <laughs> there and there's go. your answer. You got it. <laughs> no, it, it can be interpreted a lot of different ways, but for me, it's sort of looking again at the importance of independent film. It's easy to say it's just an entertainment, but I tend to think of it more as a capturing of America sometimes. And hopefully the audiences that are here are gonna be exposed to information that they didn't have before, and it's gonna be eye-opening for them. So in that sense, they'll be looking again. Uh, talk about some of your highlights uh, and what we should be looking forward to this year. There's Bones Brigade, which is the Stacey Peralta follow-up to uh, Dogtown and Z-Boys about Tony Hawk and Christian Hassoy, all those guys in the 80s that helped define a whole movement of skateboarders. And then also the other one is Something From Nothing, uh, The Art of Rap, which is Ice-T's documentary. It's not about the, the cultural impact of it, but it's about the art of it. And he has a who's who, people like Chuck D and KRS-One, Eminem, you know, the list goes on and on. Shut up! and play the hits is what I'm looking forward to, which is about LCD Sound System's last concert at uh, Madison Square Garden. Yeah, for all those fans out there, and then also for people who aren't fans too, to be exposed to them, I think it's gonna be uh, eye-opening, and people are gonna go back and, and discover them in a way that they, they missed out on. Talk about some of the people who are coming. I mean, Richard Gere coming, Rashida Jones, uh, uh, Chris Rock, they're obviously using their star power to, to, to promote these films. They believe in these films from the beginning. I think that's why they made these movies, let's face it. Chris Rock is amazing in Two Days in New York. Richard Gere and Robert De Niro in Red Lights, and Sigourney Weaver in Red Lights. It's like, it, it feels a little Hollywood sometimes, but actually when you see these movies, it all makes sense. Let's wrap up by talking about the, the festival in terms of recognizing and celebrating and encouraging the independent filmmaker. The gap between studio films and independent films is, is getting even wider, which I, and I think it's healthy for us and, it, and, and filmmakers working in the independent arena to know that they don't have to you know, work in any sort of conventions and that there is an audience for them. And I think that's the ingredient that is helping propel them forward. If you're gonna put your blood, sweat, and tears into something, Something, you might as well love it. You don't do it for any reason except you have to do it and you love doing it. Well, we love what you do. So thank you very much for not only giving us another great festival to enjoy, but also for spending some time with us. Appreciate thank you. it. I'm Amir Halim, and we'll see you next time right here at Sundance Channel HQ. Festival Insider at the 2012 Sundance Film Festival is presented by Acura. Acura, advance.